perfecto. I'm wash the broccoli. Pop a squat. Okay. So we got we got marinated chicken, aka just olive oil and spices. Don't give them the easy, you gotta make it sound fancy. Oh, like okay. a French name or something. Okay, um, we got extra virgin olive oil from Bertoli. That's right. Bertoli. Beautiful. And then, um, well only, the, only the best Italian seasoning and uh, garlic powder. So. High quality. That was, that was the least fancy way you could describe food ever. High quality. Just to say, we have the finest, finest olive oils imported from Italy. <laughs> we have the salt harvested from the depths of the ocean, where the where the largest whales swim. Cajun imported from Louisiana. <laughs> All right, we'll go with that. That'll uh, work. We got a lot of veggies. We're gonna need like a third pan. Yeah. I do like the sun asparagus because I know. Perfect. Perfect. We're just prepping. What's up, everybody? One second. We'll be good. Mm hmm. One sec. Oh, so many yummy vegetables. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, let's unwrap this chicken breast. Oh my god. Delicious. Delicious. Alright. Alright, yo! What's going on, everybody? Today we are going to be cooking a, uh, a, a simple dish that, that's just going to be flavorful and delicious and so good. Something easy that you guys uh, can make for yourselves at home. So, what we have over here. I don't know if, I, if you can see it. Let me like pull it closer. Is our this is our vegetable jamboree? Dang, that's fancy. Yeah. So we've got some red peppers, some tomatoes, some broccoli, asparagus, onion, and uh, bell pepper. So we got that. That's what I'm gonna be prepping. And then over here, Buttery Jones has got some chicken breast. Yep. Delicious. So we got chicken breast. We got three. We got three chunks. We got and two pounds of chicken. Yeah. That's a lot. It's a lot of chicken. And we got a bunch of spices. And we got a bunch of spices, and we'll be talking through the spices as we're kind of hitting them with it. Yeah. And then we got some couscous back here for a little bit of a base layer. Easy. Let me get a knife for myself. Ooh, that's, a, that's a big old You got any scissors? Uh, not here. Cut these. I'll just nah, I'll I'll snack get, on I'll them. Get them. One sec. All right. Yeah. How about yourself? That? All right, so... Butter Jones um, from Kansas played Smash Bros a lot, um, and so after we cook here, oh my God, you're bombing! We're okay. gonna do, we're gonna right, do a bit of bombing. Dash. Okay, I'm bombing. This is a he's this a, is a he's melee a little, Smash player right he's a, here. He's a little more experienced than I am. Buttery Jones, he's coming in. He's gonna teach us a little bit about how to smash, yeah, uh, and a little bit of how to cook because this man is a a professional cook, I'm so a, we've learned I'm today. A Renaissance man. So we have learned today. So, got a whole lot of stuff going on. Man, I need a trash can on my side. I'm just giving my own trash bag. Alright, double bag it. Always double bag it, guys. That way, nothing slips out the bottom. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. That's right. Got it all open. There we go. What's the world record for this speed run? Well, we're we're hoping to accomplish <laughs> this in. Uh, it's a good question. Sub sub one hour, I think, yeah. is our is our hope. All right. All right. I'm gonna get these peppers opened up here, and then we'll kind of wash out the inside and get the seeds cleared a little bit. Four teaspoon. Buttery's yeah, still trying to learn what uh, yeah, table yeah. measurements are. Two spoons are. All right. Two yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So right now we're gonna start off with some salt, and we're going to 
do two teaspoons of salt. Dang, two teaspoons of salt? Yeah, dude. Salting it up over salt's, there. Salt's good. All right, salt's good for you. No, it's not. That's not. That's not. You need a little bit of salt. That, that's, yeah, you do. A little bit. You'll, you'll, you'll die otherwise. Now we'll get we'll get one teaspoon of black pepper. There we go. And then we're gonna switch over to a half teaspoon of Cajun. Perfect. Make sure you write all these measurements down. Oh, if yeah. not, remember it's on YouTube. You can just rewind it later. Uh -huh. Don't leave right. the water on now. Oh, oh. Be smarter than the llama. Never. Never leave the water running. All right. Always be careful with sharp utensils. Remember, you hold the blade like this when you carry a knife, so that when you hand it to somebody, you're not handing them with the blade. Very you're good. Handing them the handle. Very good. Safety first. You're just gonna let that one go. I'm just gonna. All right. So, Let's see. So now I'm gonna do a fourth of. Basil leaves get a little bit extra aroma. Nice. And remember to uh, change your measurements with the amount of chicken and stuff that you have. Exactly. Always important. If you don't follow, you might follow the recipe, but adjust one thing in it, and then you have one pound of chicken and it tastes way too salty. Exactly. So always make sure you make those you adjustments. Don't, definitely don't want salted chicken for sure. All right. So I'm gonna kind of make. Uh, a special poultry seasoning. Add um, probably about a third teaspoon of garlic powder, and then third teaspoon of onion powder. Yummy. Yummy. And then a mystery spice, aka Italian. Yeah, gonna do, gonna do about one third. So that is our poultry seasoning. That's that's the secret recipe right there. That is. Don't tell no one. Yeah. Put a little Italian seasoning on anything. <laughs> Why garlic powder instead of fresh garlic? Brightens it up. Um. I don't think I have any fresh garlic. Oh, I do. Oh, oh. Yeah. All right. Well, we use garlic powder instead of fresh garlic. Whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. And you know what? We're done. We're done. Yeah. Can you pass me the pan? Yeah. The veggie one? Do you have any lemon juice or lemon juice? Have lemon juice? Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Alright. Dash it out. So, we're going to do one, one tablespoon of lemon juice. I cut up two peppers? No, oh, I did. All right. There one. we go. So. Perfect. And what does that do? So, what that does makes the chicken a little bit tangier, gives it, um, gives it that extra marinade. You need some kind of um, acid in a marinade so that you can break down the chicken, makes it a lot softer, makes it, makes it juicier. And that, it is science. That's How about you, that, that's Craven? What, that's what you want. How yeah. about that? How's that for some science cooking? Exactly. In your face. Okay, so now for now you can I can show you. That's what it looks like. Beautiful. That's um before the olive oil. And you wanna just add the olive oil so that it's like it's like syrup, like a syrup consistency. So I'm gonna stir it a little bit. It's good techniques right there. Exactly. Um, you see, it's all on the wrist. All. It's I, like motion that you practice. Get that from Smash Bros. That's right. Is that real lemon juice or a weird lemon salt thing? A, what? A weird lemon salt thing. No, this is not like. No, it's lemon juice. Yeah, it's just lemon juice. It's just the juice of a lemon. Exactly. Put right. into a container. 
Yeah. Alright, so you can kind of see the, uh, the consistency right now. Nice syrupy. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now make sure it coats the chicken breast uh, without sliding off. Without sliding off. There you yeah. go. Try to hold it in there, boys. Exactly. Now he is a doctor, but he does not have a brother. So if we could get some feels bad man, some Bible thumps in the chat. That'd be great. That'd be uh, yeah. It's a poor, poor man. Or men. Okay. Some of the lemon juices are not lemon. Okay, well this one's lemon. So now I'm just cutting up the broccoli here. Once again, this is the, uh, you guys know how to cut vegetables, right? Uh, you guys, you know how to cut vegetables. Well, what if I don't know how to cut vegetables? Oh, well you then learn that first. Alright, hold it. Yeah. You just, you just kind of break things up as you want and then cut off stems and I'm just trying to get down to the head right now, because nobody really wants to deal with the stem. You could sit there and gnaw on that all day, or you can just just get down to the good meaty stuff. I'm just gonna do that. Can I cut my broccoli up a little bit, and make it into a little bit easier chunks to uh, bite? This broccoli's kind of big. And then he'll just be cutting that up. So, while we do kind of these things, cut off the stems, yeah. While we're doing some of this stuff, I can discuss a little bit about what's coming up. So, or a, bit, a little bit about Buttery Jones over here. So I know he introduced himself. Uh, he is a coworker of mine, who is a pro smash dude. He plays the melee. That is right. Plays the melee game. He tried to be good at brawl, but <laughs> decided he wasn't good enough or something. Nobody knows exactly what it was. Nobody likes brawl. Nobody likes brawls. Okay, that's the excuse he ended with. So he's back to the melee. What's your main? My main is Marth. Oh, he's a Marth main. Yes. Oh god. That swordsman life. Oh, the worst. The oh, worst. I hate Marth players. Uh, they're the best though. Oh, you got that god. finesse, that sword, that spacing. And that tipper, once you get that four smash tipper, oh, it's yeah, fantastic. That's awful. All right, well, we got a Marth main in here. Where's my first aid kit? Why? I didn't cut myself yet. Maybe they think that we're going to cut ourselves. Uh, I don't know. The hospital's like 10 minutes away. Yeah, I mean, he just grabbed the chicken with his hands. So, you know, he's not allowed to touch anything else in this apartment for oh. the rest of his life. Yeah, not even soap will cure me. Nope. Soap can't even cure that man. I don't know. Who uses first aid kits? Right. It's like, I'm not planning on getting hurt. Why would I use a first aid kit? Something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the back ends of this asparagus, just because I'm like that. I feel like gnawing on it. So do that. And... Do I want some tomato? Maybe I'll just do some onion. You can kind of be, this is where you can, this is where you can explore yourself, right? Be creative. Go, exactly. what do I feel like today? Do I want to have a little more broccoli? <laughs> sure, why not? How about, how about a little onion? Throw that in there, Broccoli's you know? good for you. Broccoli is good for you. All right. All these things are pretty good for you. So There's notice, a lot of green. So notice how, uh, how big the chunks are. You may think, wow, that's a very big chunk, but that's exactly uh, what you would think. It's also a lot of water weight, and once we put it in the oven, it's going to shrink down to a um, pretty nice size. Hopefully. Hopefully it does, yeah. If not, then you're a liar. Now I'm a and liar. And nobody in chat will believe anything you say exactly. for the rest of time. So, you got, I mean, that's, you got your whole reputation riding yep. on some big chunks some right big now. Big chunks of chicken right there. I hope, I hope it goes well for you. I really do. They are you. not forgiving. <laughs> That's right, exactly, comrade. Oh, comrade. <laughs> it's a great name. Here comes the onion crying. No, there's no crying in this stream. You cry, you lose. You cry, you lose. I, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna chop it up fine enough where it should release enough of the junk to make me cry. I actually feel like I've cut a lot of onions lately, and they haven't made me cry. 
Like, I don't know why, but I feel like I've done, I've had many, many, uh, many experiences, and none of them have been criers. I say that, and this one's gonna be, like, super potent and just okay. destroy us, but... Yeah, I, I cry during MVS, so you already get to see my tears. The S is for smoke, the C is for children. <laughs> what? Cutting with a dull knife makes you cry. This knife's maybe dullish. It's not too bad. I have a much duller knife. Cutting but with a dull knife is dangerous. Yeah. And I have a knife sharpener, but I don't really know how to use it. And I haven't, like, tried uh, to learn, so... You need to get one of those fancy water stones. I don't even know what that means. Dude, you get like a stone, you put some water on it, and it will sharpen your knife. Yeah, but I still probably have to run my knife on it or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's, that's the part that I don't know. Yeah, so that's the technique that you're not familiar with? Yeah, that's the technique I, I am uncertain of. Alright, so I got, the, uh, got the chicken all cut up. Oh, beautiful. So now you're going to kind of work it around a little yeah, bit, I'm get really your fingers in there? Kind of like, going to massage the chicken. Ooh. Make sure, make sure it's all coated. I like good stuff. I like it. Yeah. Good, good technique over there. This man knows how to massage. Huh. Any ladies in the chat looking for a massage? Hey, there you go. Check out those fingers working right there. I need not say no mo. Need not say no mo. Don't try, you're gonna hurt your knife. Exactly. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna hurt my knife. Knives have feelings too, you know. Additionally, I am uh, not skilled enough with a knife that I kinda wanna keep it dull for when I mess up with it. And uh, I know that it's more dangerous because a, a sharp knife will go through it better and not have, you know, so I. I, I practice for a dull knife, I suppose, Precisely. which is a, not the best thing to do, but it's what we're doing. I mean, if you can use a dull knife, you can use any knife. That's right. You can dodge a dull knife, you can dodge a dodgeball. I see what you did there. So, is that enough onions? Yeah, we'll go, yeah, All right. probably need half so, one more. My hands are covered in olive oil and spices now, but as and you can chicken see, chicken and salmonella. It's, oh, lovely, lovely salmonella. But yeah. beautiful. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it does look good. It does look good. So, um, do we want like a base for that of like onions or something? Ooh, we got onion powder in here though. Oh, we it do. might overpower. That's true. That might be too much onion. Yeah, good thinking. Cause I got way too much for one pan. I'm gonna go put this chicken on the pan. Alright, beautiful. More onions! Uh, more onions! Cut the onions smaller, just just go till we cry. Cut till you cry. Alright. Is that it? I'm gonna clean up my station. Oh yeah, just put that right there. Right in the eyes. It's like, like, <laughs> you're putting in contacts. That's right. Just a little, a little sliver of onion. <laughs> Slide it over the eye. Be wonderful. Alright. That's probably good on that cut. Now, there. if you really want to make chicken taste great, you're going to want to put this into the refrigerator um, with some saran wrap over it for about eight hours, a maximum of 24 hours. And that will make sure that all the juices get soaked up into the chicken and you have more uniform spice distribution. But hear that, boys? 24 hour stream! <coughs> We got a 24 hour stream coming! That's right. Alright! Pumped! Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. Yo, BT Neanderthal, what's up? Thanks for the host, bud. Congrats on level 99. What about the garlic? We decided not to put any garlic. Oh, we. we have, do we have garlic powder? We have garlic powder. Oh, okay. No, did we? Yeah, we did. We did, we did put yeah. garlic powder. That's right. Man vs. marinade. Man vs. marinade. That's, I like that. <laughs> so, it's beautiful. Alright, and... Let's put all this chicken on here. Let me get one bag. No need to grease the pan. We have a ton of olive oil in here, so... Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Just gonna... 
arrange this chicken. So I just put some of the spare veggies in our little bags here. Great way to keep them a little bit more fre fresh. Whew. A little more fresh. 99 dinners. Yeah, everybody say congrats to BT on level 99. That is amazing, dude. That is amazing. I don't know if I have the patience. Well, I say that, but I've got that single player 97, so maybe I do. But I don't have a 99. I don't have a 99. All right, so got the chicken, perfect, all laid out. And I'm moving it to the oven. Well, on top of the oven. Well, uh, that works. How long do you want to cook the, the uh, vegetables for? Um, I mean, how long do they need? 15 to 20? Yeah. Probably like 20 minutes or something. Yeah, let's do it. So, I mean, but put the, the, the chicken for like 10 minutes and then put the... Yeah, we can just toss this puppy in there right now. Alright, Does it matter what track it's on? Nah. Middle's good. Yeah. Middle's good. Alright, that'll work. Alright, it's sweet. preheated, so. Eating meat. Love it. You're the new anal retentive chef. What? <laughs> they call me anal retentive or anal retentive? Okay. I don't know if I've seen that skit. I think they said I am. Is it me or is it Buttery Jones? We are making couscous for a base. Then we've got a marinated chicken that we just went through. That'll be in the bod later. And then I've got my vegetable tray. A variety of vegetables in here that I've chopped up. We're gonna kind of olive oil them, salt and pepper them, and, uh, and then kind of cook them. I don't know, do you think we could cook it like this and then just kind of like shuffle them up every 10 minutes or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna try it. Just, just, just right. good. Olive oil. Uh, so be generous with the olive oil. Exactly. Because who doesn't love good olive oil? This is the finest olive oil you'll find in all of the land. Where's the salt? Perfect. Yeah, we're gonna do some like baked roasted vegetables. Exactly. And exactly. I'll have you know that I'm now salmonella free. Salmonella free? That's not nice. No, stuck with you for life. <laughs> so can't, can't ever touch a chicken ever. Can't escape. Yep. That's a true fact, everybody. Exactly. It's a true fact. That's why I worked on the veggies. True facts with llamas. That's right. Everybody knows you only get the truest of facts in this stream. <laughs> I can only get the truest of facts. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little like massaging of the veggies here. Ooh, there we go. Right? More massage. A little more massaging, we like that. Let's just kind of work the olive oil and uh, the spices around. Right? Kinda kinda get it all over all the veggies. Get a nice little mix going here. Beautiful. Mmm. Oh, so good. Can't wait. I love vegetables. Vegetables are so good. Add black pepper, already done. So I did salt, black pepper, and olive oil. Kind of a simple thing. Do we want to do chili powder? Yeah, let's, let's, right. let's be crazy. We're gonna go crazy. We're gonna put some chili powder go crazy. on these veggies as well. Let's just give them a little bit of that kick. You know, we've already got a little Cajun in our chicken. It's like, why not, right? Why not add a little, little something, something to the dish? All right. Now I'm gonna go pop this into the oven as well. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have a timer on that chicken? We do not. Um, I have